So the next question we're going to ask ourselves is, could this rash be chickenpox? And this is often a question that you'll get asked by a parent who thinks their child might have chickenpox. And they'll say, oh, doctor, do you think this could be chickenpox? And sometimes there'll be a history of a contact with a child with chickenpox. Um, other times they won't. So the, the, the key thing that I really want to go through is the rash, because that's enough on chickenpox to make the diagnosis. And the rash with chickenpox goes through these different stages. So any given lesion will start as a papule, which will be a small raised little lesion on the skin, um, usually red, and then that progresses to become a vesicle, so a small fluid-filled uh, little skin lesion. And then the, the little vesicle will burst and then it will scab over. So you get these three stages and the lesions go from papule to vesicle to scab. And the key diagnostic feature that you need to remember is that you see different lesions at different stages at the same time, so in different parts of the body or, or next to each other. So if you see a rash that has some vesicles and then has some papules and then has some little scabbed over bits, you can be pretty confident that that's chickenpox. You can make the diagnosis clinically and you don't usually need to do things like blood tests. A couple of things that can help give you clues as to whether you're looking at chickenpox one, as I mentioned, is the infectious contact. Chickenpox is very infectious. If you've not had it before and you're in contact with someone who's got it, you're highly likely to get it, especially if you haven't had the vaccine for it. And this means that, you know, if a child's been in contact with someone who's got chickenpox and they come in with a rash, it's quite likely that it's going to be chickenpox as well. The second thing is there might have been a fever. You, you sometimes get this, this feverish prodrome for a couple of days where they're kind of irritable and feverish for a couple of days before the rash arrives. That can help give you a clue as well. But the rash really is the key thing. Management's usually supportive. There's no specific treatment for it. Rate of complications is low, although it gets slightly more likely to be complicated as you get older and into adulthood. So when young children get it, normally they do well, they manage supportively, they make a good recovery. And you just need to make sure they're not in contact with pregnant women because chickenpox is dangerous to unborn babies. A um, couple of pictures of the rash here. So this is three pictures from Dermnet of different children who had uh, chicken pox. And the key thing that I'd like to draw your attention to is just these different stages. So, for example, looking at the middle picture, you can see there's some papular areas, there's some vesicles, and then there's a few lesions that have already burst and scabbed over. So that is enough to make the diagnosis that this is chicken pox. Um, that's it pretty much is once you've seen it a couple of times it's reasonably easy to recognize and you can answer that question doctor is this chicken pox fairly confidently um, without too much extra support or tests in the next videos we're going to do some other common uh, not very serious rashes and uh, just help you get that pattern recognition in so watch those if you want to learn a couple of other common rashes